Hey, Tom Wiley here, and today I'm going to show you the first thing I do when I get a brand new hat. So my old hat here has seen a fair bit of weather, and it's starting to get worn and um, ragged looking. So we've I've put it through a lot, and it's time to make that an official um, rough work hat and move up to a new one. So I found a new one here at North 40 today. I was happy to find one. It's really hard for me to find hats that fit. Um, my uh, Basically, they always end up hitting my ears. Like, my, my head is shorter than most, I guess, or something. Because my ears always run into right here um, on most hats. So it's really rare that I find one. So I saw that the hats, North 40 hats were on sale. And... I tried one on and it fit, so I bought it because that's uh, it's hard to find. So, really happy about that. I like supporting North 40. I like um, their store and, and what they provide for kind of farm and ranch supplies, hardware, stuff like that. You can buy hardware by the pound off the, a lot of things, which is amazing. So anyway, the first thing I do when I get buy a new hat is to remove, I've already wor started working on it here, to remove this um, nubbin thing that they put on the top where all the seams come together. It's usually cloth, um, you know, cloth covered. It's a little, I squished it, but it's a little round cap that, that sits on top of the hat and it's nice. It's decorative, but there's a problem with that. Have you ever been working under, uh, say in, in an attic and then you, you move your head up and you run up against the bottom of a rafter and nail that, that hard spot on top of the cap right into your skull it really hurts I've done that before um, I, I first started doing this when I was in flight training um, aiming you know getting uh, going through glider training initially and then um, into powered aircraft and um, one of my instructors said first thing you do when you get a new hat cut that nubbin thing off the top um, because uh, same thing there if uh, in the gliders you'd be um, there's a glass or a, a fabric, uh, uh, a plexiglass canopy that goes over top of you. And if you hit big turbulence and whack your head on the canopy, that'll nail you straight in the head too. And it really hurts. Also, um, pilots wear headsets. And so that there's a band that goes right over the top, or if you use earmuffs at all, that goes over the top often, um, any kind of stuff like that. So, uh, first thing, when I buy a new hat, I take that nubbin off. I'll show you how the easiest way to get it off now. Okay, so the easiest way to get it off is uh, before I've always used dikes like where did they go? Oh, dikes like that, diagonal cutters. I've always used those and tried to pinch underneath the little nubbin. And that has worked, but it, it sometimes I scuff up the the uh, stitching here, um, and it doesn't always work. Uh, this this time I did a different approach, which was let me get this thing focused. Um, I just took my duckbill pliers here, any kind of pliers would work, and I squished it sideways. I just went and crushed it like that. That's why the thing that's normally round is flat. You can see it folded in half. Um, so that squished it in half, that popped the cloth thing off. Then I was encountered with basically this little assembly here with this upper cap thing. That's what makes it round. So that popped off, I squished that off, and then I just, just kind of squished this back and forth a little bit. Um, and basically this, these two barbs stick out, they go through two holes in this, and then they, um, so they go up to, to, through two holes and then they curl back on themselves. Kind of like a staple, but, but bigger. Um, so they were just, these were curved inward um, through the holes in this little device. So I squished that around enough to, to free it up, open it up, and then I just used my knife blade, which I've um, broken off and filed into a screwdriver tip. I just um, stuck it in there and, and pried those up. And then I took my duckbill pliers again and I s squished these so that they were straight. And now I'll simply try to do this without a tripod. Now I'll simply try to pull it out the back here you might need to use some pliers or screwdriver or something 
we'll just pry under there. And there it goes. There, here it comes. <laughs> if I can get a hold of it. So that's what came out that side. So as you can see, you end up still with a attractive hat. It doesn't really change much as far as appearance goes. That will slowly kind of level itself out. So here's my old hat. You can't even tell that there used to be something there. It leveled out and looks totally normal. So this one will do the same over time. So now I've got a brand new hat and I don't have to worry about hurting my head. Now when I bonk something, it'll just be the feeling of the bonk and not uh, something jabbing into the top of my head. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, keep working hard and get some cool stuff done today. Please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. That really means a lot to me. I'll catch you later.